today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pumpkin bracelet. It is going to be a pretty easy tutorial if you have already made like chevron bracelets or striped bracelets. You do need prior knowledge of what a forward, backward, and forward, backward, and backward, forward knots are. So all four of those kinds of knots. If you understand those, then you are set to make this bracelet. So let's get on with the actual tutorial. It's pattern 105966 by Emma James on Bracelet Book, and it is so cute and pretty simple. That's the entire pattern. So I'm going to walk you through it. If you don't understand how to read patterns, that's totally fine. You don't need to. I'm just going to show you how to do it and talk you through every step. First, you're going to want to cut out your strings. So for this bracelet, um, I am going to do about... A little bit longer than two feet per string um, and then that's just that's being generous but I just want to make sure I have enough space for however big I want to make it and then I'm going to have seven black strings that length and then four orange strings that length and then one green string that length that's 12 strings in total and these are all going to be what we're tying on to and tying with and it'll all make sense in a second so cut out those strings and then you're going to tape it to the table and we are gonna want to tape it in like it doesn't need to be perfect because we'll move it around but we're gonna tape it down in this order so that um, or at least tape it down and then move the strings so that they're in this order the order that you're going to want these strings in going from left to right is going to be black orange black orange black orange black, orange, black, green, black, black. So you can look at this if you need more reference. Along with having this taped down and these separated, you want to make sure you're leaving a little bit of space up here if you're wanting to end the bracelet like I do. I like to end all my bracelets with an adjustable end and I'll show you how to do that at the end if you'd like. If not, you can just um, start the bracelet however you'd like, tie a little loop, whatever, but I think especially for this bracelet, because there's only one green string, it is easiest to do it this way. Now that we have our strings separated, we can start on the bracelet. So this pattern is something that's called a 1-2 pattern. Usually I would work from left to right, but it's going to be easier today to work from right to left from this first one. So with a 1-2 bracelet, we are going to be separating the strings, um, over the course of the whole bracelet so it'll make more sense as we go but for now we're gonna break all these strings up into two per group we're gonna group them together so that there's two per group and there we go it's a little bit harder to see at the very top but as you can see they're each in groups of two so I'm gonna start with these two strings on the end I am going to be doing a backward forward knot on this one right here with this black string. So I'm going to do the backward part of the forward knot, the backward forward knot, and then the forward part of the backward forward knot. And then those, we're done with these two strings for this row. <clears throat> so I'm going to put them out of the way. Next, we're going to move on to our green and black, and we're going to be tying with the green string. So we're going to be making a backward knot with this string. So I'm going to do one half of that backward knot and the second half of that backward knot. Now we are done with that second part, so we can put the bunch of those two strings to the side. We're going to move on to this orange and black one, and we're going to be tying on with the orange onto the black, so we're going to do a backward forward knot for this one. So there's that first half of it and then the forward part of it. Then we're gonna move on to our next row, or next two, and we are going to be doing, we are going to be tying on with the orange string and we're going to be doing a backward forward knot, just like the last one. Backward, forward. And we're gonna put those to the side, grab the next two strings we have we're going to be tying on with the black this time, and we're going to be doing a forward-backward knot. So, we're doing forward-backward knot. And then for these last two strings, 
we're going to be tying on with the black onto the orange and we're going to do a forward backward knot. And then we have our first row done. Now, this is the thing that um, one, two patterns do. We're going to be separating, basically take the two strings on the farthest corners and we're going to be setting them aside. So I'm just going to set them up here. Then with the rest of the strings, we're going to regroup each of them into two with the one that's right next to them. So because of the types of knots we tied, they will be right next to the ones that they're supposed to be separated with. So on this end, it's going to be two black. It's going to be a green and an orange. It's going to be, and then orange and black and orange and black and orange and black. So just like this. So you're setting aside the two strings that are on the side and you're regrouping them all into groups of two. So now we're going to be starting on that right side again. And this first one, we're going to be doing a backward knot with the black onto the black. And there we go. Then we're done with those ones. We're going to put them aside. Grab the next two. We're tying a backward knot with the green onto the orange. Then we're done with those two. On to the next one. We are tying a forward knot with the orange onto the black. Then we're setting them aside because we're done with them. Then this next one, we're going to be doing another forward knot with the orange onto the black. Then for the next one, we're going to be doing a forward, backward knot with the black onto the orange. And we're done with that second row. So now that we've done that, we're going to go back and we're going to add these strings on the side back in. So that's going to be these two black ones on the edge here, these two black ones, um, this black and orange, another black and orange, a black and orange on this side, and that orange and green on the middle. And then we're ready for our next row. So we are starting on the right side again. We're going to be doing a backward forward knot with this black string onto the other black string. Then we're moving on to the next one and we're going to be doing a forward backward knot with the orange onto the black string. Then moving to the next two, we are going to be doing a forward knot with the orange onto the green string. Then for these next two, we're going to be doing a forward knot with the orange onto the black string. And for this next one, we're going to be doing a forward knot with this orange onto this black string. Then for this last two, or these last two, we're going to be doing a forward backward knot with the black string onto the other black string. And there we go, we're done with that one. Then we're going to take these end two and put them up and out of the way and we're going to be discluding them from this one. Then we're going to separate them all into groups of two again, all the ones we're still using. So two fully black ones on the outside, black and an orange, and then here's an orange and an orange that we're doing for this one, an orange and a green. There we go. So now we're ready for the next row. Starting on the right side again, and we're going to start with a backward knot with the outer black onto the inner black string. And we're done with those two. 
Then we're going to take these oranges and do a forward knot with this orange string onto this one. Then with this orange and green, we're going to be doing a forward backward knot with the orange string onto the green string. Then with this orange and black, I'm going to be doing a forward backward knot with this orange onto the black. Then the last two black, I'm just going to take this inner one and do a backward knot with it onto this outer one. Now we're done with that row, so I'm just going to take the rows on the or the strings on the edge and bring them back in, and I'm going to separate them all into groups of two again. I've got them separated into groups of two now, and so I'm just going to start by on the right side, and I'm going to do a backward forward knot with this black string on the other black string. I'm going to move on to the next two, and I'm going to do a forward backward knot with this orange string onto this black string. Forward, backward. Then I'm going to move on to the next two strings and I'm going to do a backward knot with this orange onto this green. Then I'm going to go on to the next two strings and I'm going to do a backward knot with this orange onto this black string. Then these next two strings I'm going to be doing a backward knot with this orange onto this black. Then the last two, I'm going to do a forward. My filming cut off, but I was saying that with the black string, you're doing a forward backward knot onto the other black string. And then it cut out while I was doing this, but we just took the strings from the side, put them up and out of the way, and regrouped these strings. So now we are ready to do the next row. Going from right to left again, I'm going to start it by doing a backward knot with this black onto this other black string. Then for the next two strings, we're going to do a backward knot with the orange onto the green. Then for the next two strings, we're going to do a, um, oh, there we go. They were in the wrong order, um, but I'm going to do a backward knot with the orange. <clears throat> then for the next two strings, I'm going to do a backward knot with the orange. And then for the last two strings, I'm going to do a forward knot with the black. And then we are good to add the strings back in and re-separate the strings. So black and orange, orange and black, black and orange, orange and black, <laughs> then green and black, and black and black. Okay, so we're going from right to left again, and we're going to start with a forward or a backward forward knot with this outer black string onto the other black string. Then we're going to our second group of strings, and we're doing a backward knot with the black onto the green. Then we're going to the next batch of strings, and this one is going to be a backward forward knot with the orange onto the black. And then we're going to go to our next batch of strings and do 
a backward forward knot again with the orange onto the black. And then for our next batch of strings, we are going to do a forward backward knot with the black onto the orange. And for the last two strings, we are going to do a forward backward knot with the black onto the orange. And that finishes up that row, so we'll put the end strings up and up to the side, and then re-separate our strings again. Um, so yeah, with that one-two pattern, we do that a lot. We just separate our strings, <clears throat> and <laughs> just do the knots, separate strings, do the knots, and it's basically just that repeated over and over. So now we are going to do <clears throat> all black backward knots. So on every group that we have, we're going to be doing a black backward knot. So this one's pretty simple, so I'm going to speed it up for you. And because all of the black strings were the ones that we were making backward knots with, that makes it so that this entire row was black. And then we are going to add our strings back in and separate them. And then we're going to do another row of full black. And if you ever make a mistake, and have two strings together that aren't supposed to be together, you can just kind of finagle with them and it works out. So then we're going to start this off by with these first two tying with the black string onto the green. We're doing a forward backward knot and then we're going with our next two and we're doing a forward backward knot again. Or these are backward forward knots, so ignore me. They're backward forward knot and then backward forward knot, and then another backward forward knot. <clears throat> backward, then forward. Then backward, and once again, this is an entirely black row. Then forward. And backward and forward then this last one is a forward backward knot with this outer black string onto the inner black string and then we are finished with that row and then we're gonna put so you're going to want to put these black strings out to the side and then we're going to regroup all of our strings again and get them in little groups of two. And this is our last row for the pattern, which, sorry for shaking the hammer, which means that um, after this point, you're just going to either rewind the video or you know, anything that you'd like. And we're gonna just redo this over and over and over until the bracelet is the length that you want it to be. So let's start on this side again, one more time. We're gonna be doing a forward knot with this black onto this green. And this row is going to get our strings in the correct place to restart the pattern. So if you do this row right, and if you did all the other rows right, that means that the strings will start in the same order as they did at the beginning of this video. So yeah, for this next row we just did another forward knot. And then this is actually forward knots all the way across and you're tying with black every time. So that makes this row pretty simple. Just yeah, make sure you have the black strings out into the side and then you can do this one and it's super simple. So as we finish up this part of the bracelet, I am going to um, 
finish the bracelet off camera or finish the pattern part, but then I'm going to show you how to do the ends and um, how to finish the actual bracelet itself. And so from here on out, just redo the pattern as much as you'd like. And then when it's the length that you want it to be, it doesn't have to fit over your whole wrist because the way we're ending it gives us a little bit of space. We don't have to fill. But um, finish however long you want to make it with your pattern and then come back to the video or unpause and then we will go over how to finish the ends. So good job on this part. Okay, now I have repeated the pattern. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times. Um, <clears throat> I started half of the pumpkin, but I'm ending it here on the end because the top is kind of similar to that. And I'm going to show you how I like to end my bracelets. So I like to take the excess string that we saved and I'm going to split it in half or almost in half if there's an odd number. For this one, it's even, so I'm going to split it in half. And I'm going to take one side and twist it to the right. Then you can tape that down or hold it. I'm just going to hold it while I do the other one. You're going to take the other side, twist it to the, to the right, the same direction as the other one. And I'm just going to twist it, like, pretty, pretty tight. Maybe not, like, as tight as you can, but, like, tight. And then you're going to twist them around each other the opposite direction that you twist them. And mine's coming down. The tape is slipping. But we're going to be going to the left because we did it to the right. Yeah, if your tape slips, just hold it. Pull it back up. We're just twisting this until... And you can keep twisting the little strings as you go, too. And you're going to do this on both sides. Then once you get to the edge... You're going to take it, make a little twisty like that, and string the edges through the hole. Then you're going to pull as tight as you can and make a little knot right there. Ta-da! Your first side is done. Then you're going to want to do it on the other side. So I just want to match the length of this one with the length of it on the other side. Then I like to cut off the excess string. Sometimes it's a tiny bit like this. Sometimes it'll be a lot more like the other side. But yeah, I'm going to do that with the other side real fast, matching the length of this one. So now I've done that on both sides. I'm going to um, finish off the bracelet um, by putting them together, putting the ends together. I'm going to tape them down. And then I'm going to tie some square knots around this middle part. So I'm going to start by just doing a normal knot around it. So make an X, put the knot through the hoop. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to tape down this bottom half. And then I'm going to tie some square knots. So I'm going to go underneath with this side. And this is just a piece of excess string I actually just cut off from the bottom. And then I'm going to go over with this side and pull this through the loop like that. I'll show you again. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to go under with the other side now. Under like that. And then this is going to go over and through there. And this is going to go through this hole. And we're going to switch sides so that we're doing that with again. So if you need to retape down the sides, you can. <clears throat> but I'm going to take this, go under, take this side, go over and through, and pull this one through. And then you can make it as short or as long as you want. I'm going to do one more knot probably. And then I'm just going to tie a little knot um, at the top with just a normal type knot. And I'm going to do it twice so that it stays. And then cut off the excess, and you can put a little dot of super glue on there if you want to make the extra certain that it stays. <clears throat> and then you have your finished bracelet, and this will make it so that the back is adjustable. And then you can 
put on your new pumpkin bracelet. 